All right, so you've just done some Boolean action, and now your mesh looks like a Picasso painting on a roller coaster. We've all been there. Let's roll up our sleeves and jump right into edit mode. You can see that some vertices are very close to each other, but we want an evenly distributed topology, and if we wanted to run a bevel on these edges, we wouldn't be able to do so. Sometimes you can fix this automatically by going back to object mode and adding welding modifier. It will most likely merge close vertices into one, but if the threshold is too high, it might also affect different parts of our mesh apart from the region that we are trying to fix, that means it is still better to do it manually. So go to edit mode in Blender and always select one of the verts. By pressing G two times on your keyboard, you will be able to slide the vert on the connected edge. You also need to enable the auto merge option, which is located on the top right corner in edit mode. With this setting enabled, if we slide vertices to the position of another one, they will merge into one and there won't be any intersections. Always merge those vertices that are not poles, which means that they are not connected with other edges. You should only get rid of the vertices that were added by the Dublin object because those are the ones causing this issue and they can be considered a completely useless part of your geometry. If you think your mesh is clear now, you can add bevel modifier with a really low value and the clamp option enabled. If the bevel is appearing on the edges, you did a great job and your topology has been cleared up. If the bevel is not appearing, it is because there are still some leftover vertices that are causing the bevel to not appear, so you need to find them and merge them. Now you can see that the shading is better as well, because the additional vertices were causing that some faces were unflattened, which is often resolving in shading artifacts and normal orientation problems. If you still cannot proceed bevel, it is probably because there are some edges or vertices on the topology that really close to the cut, which means they are limiting the bevel radius. You can fix that with the same method of sliding vertices, not to merge them, but just to move them away further from the cut to make space for the bevel. I hope this was valuable for you, and if you want to see the same high quality videos with similar content about 3D and Blender, make sure that you are subscribed to Graffinity, and with that being said, see you next time.